Hi, Tiny. Ooh, six viewers already. How are we all doing? Hopefully my mic's working. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, so many familiar faces. I'm doing a surprise for Nikki Lee Tompkins today, so. It would be really great if I could actually connect to chat on my phone. Since I don't have dual monitors yet. Annoying. Okay, that should do. You can't have a single stream without something going wrong. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing? Yeah, life of a streamer, always. It's probably why I don't do it often. I don't know how people could do it every day. I think it's exhausting. But it's fun once in a while. Yes, cat hat. It's little Aslan. Nikki was mentioning how she kind of wanted to do Prince of Aslan. So I thought I'd surprise her. So how's everyone's week been? What day is it today? Wednesday. I've kind of lost track of time. Almost over, yeah. And then we're straight back into lockdown again, which is always fun. Especially when I'm trying to get shit done. How's my week been? Uh, I've just kind of been sleeping for most of it. 
I don't do a lot in uh, winter because just no energy. I have almost finished another Warrior Cats book, so <laughs> that's about as exciting as my life gets at the moment. I think this is the first time I've streamed since we got back in contact, Ryan. So it's a rare treat. Studio is almost ready. I just need to get the electrics installed. I need to finish insulating it and I've got to board up the walls. But we'll see how that goes because I don't know how... Um, Lockdown's going to affect it. Like if I can't have builders over or anything, it's going to suck. God, that's been ages. Yeah, I miss college. Uh, you can pick up uh, secondhand Wacoms really cheap on eBay, and I find they work fine. How do you put hat on cat? Oh, true. I'm lucky. There's no game that really appeals to me for the PS5 yet, so I can hold off for a little longer. Because <laughs> I doubt I'll be buying RE8. Because first person just is awful. But what games is everyone looking forward to? I've heard really ambitious things about the PS5, especially like zero load times on 4K games, and I just don't understand how that's going to work without like having a toaster oven for a console. Because I can just see the machines frying. Or they're going to groan like motherfuckers. Oh, I forgot about Demon Souls. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And um, I really like the look of the Spider-Man game. Like... I still haven't played the last Spider-Man game that came out. Um, my friend kind of just dumped a copy on me and was like, you should play this. And I'm like, uh, adds that to the list of things that I will probably never get around to playing. Because I still haven't even played Devil May Cry 5 yet. That's just been sat on my shelf for months. Oh, 
Hi Isaac, thank you for subscribing. Destiny 2. I thought that would already come out, or am I, like, imagining things? This is Jill Cat Isaac. I can't stop drawing cats. See, I've never really liked playing as Virgil, so the special editions don't really fuss me. Um, I usually can't even finish uh, the main campaign, so there's no point for me. Because I've just always sucked at those games. I don't think I've completed a single one apart from Ninja Theories one. Who knows, maybe I'll stream it when I do finally play it so you can all bully me. Not bad for 15 minutes. What a supplies. You should get into Devil May Cry, Isaac. It is so fun. Like, it came before Resident Evil for me and they've just kind of both absorbed my entire life. Why does Jill get clothes, but Rebecca doesn't? Oh, this isn't one of my warrior cats. Uh, the warrior cats are naked. This is for Nikki. This is Aslan dressed as Jill for a little print that I'm doing for her. That's a savage taunt. I love it so much. Oh, Capcom just knows how to do those characters so well. I just wish they had that same energy for um, Ori. baggy cat pants. Oh, Ethan is just big snore. I mean, maybe they'll make him better now that they actually know we want him to have a personality, but I'm not very optimistic. I just hope Alex Wesker is the, uh, the vampire lady. Because I don't know if anyone's watched Beggy Beg Beg's videos on the potential lore, but if that's how it turns out, I'll be really happy with it.
Yeah, I think you can't really take a small part of the fandom to like as a representation of all of it, especially for Devil May Cry, because like it's so split on different characters. Because, like, I know there's a lot of talk about Sparta, Sparta Cest these days. Back in my day, we all used to ship <laughs> But the majority of people just really don't give a shit. Because um, I've found it's always been kind of more of a fandom that's more about the games than the characters, which I quite like. Glad you find it satisfying to watch. I find it satisfying to do. Hi, Jack. Oh, um, I will fight that person, Isaac. But yeah, um, they don't deserve Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry is only for cool people. Hashtag satisfaction. That's how I feel when you enter, Jack. They are really fun games. I especially like, um, like, I watched someone playing DMC for the first time the other day, and oh, it's so funny looking back on it. Because, like, you don't realise just how cringe it is, but it's cringe in such a good way. It's just so we live in a society. Yeah, it has been a while. Um, I've just kind of been crazy busy and crazy tired. So it's nice to actually come back and chat with you guys properly. I thought it'd be good to do today, especially because uh, the world is looking a bit dire right now. <laughs> Fedora wearing uh, Reddit King Virgil. <laughs> Medemon. All of the girls in Devil May Cry are just, oh, they're the reason I'm attracted to women, I'm pretty sure. Nico is especially good taste. Lady is definitely number one. Good soccer mom. <laughs> oh, Garrett, I forgot about that. He's just so slow. <laughs> like, watching back, you can see in some of the cutscenes for DMC, like, the little hamster in his brain just stops turning. It's so good. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> yeah, the hamster is very dead. And, uh, oh, what's his fucking name? The asshole that directed it. He killed the hamster. Tamim, that's it. Dante and Leon definitely share a hamster.
Mom said it's my turn on the brain cell. Gee, Virgil, how come you get two brain cells? Absolutely right. He has to get with Claire. Even Sherry knew it. If you like Cleon, definitely read the novels because it's very clear that S.D. Perry ships them. Sorry about that. Um, yes, City of the Dead is so good. They're adorable. Oh, it always like irks me how little screen time they got together. Like they had two really rushed, awkward scenes, and that's it. And I was like, no, they're both so good. In Underworld, they have a lot of good scenes together as well. Like, I won't spoil some of the major ones, but at the start, there's a really, really good one. Where Leon is especially dorky. <laughs> Leon had the same um, reaction as me when I see children. So, hey, do you want to hold my baby? Uh, okay. Except, no, I absolutely don't want to hold your baby. Adorkable is the best word ever. <laughs> I hope we get um, Chris awkwardly saying okay to like complete it. Oh my god, will I ever draw this beret properly? Such a stupid shape. Damn it, Jill. That'll do. Has anyone got any preferences on characters coming back for RE8? Like anyone you want to see? I really hope we get Claire, because we haven't had Claire and Chris in a game forever. <laughs> Leon's got to be in everything.
Barry is a good choice. I hope we get um, like an end to the Burton and Wesker thing. That'd be pretty cool. I hope we do get an older Jill because I just have needs. Kevin Ryman needs to come back. I love him. I don't know if anyone watches Ink Ribbon here, but he found a really interesting little Easter egg in RE3 make, um, where if you stand by one of the squad cars, you can hear what everyone thinks to be Kevin on the intercom, talking about all of the Outbreak characters, which is really cool. Rita, we miss you, Queen. I miss David Trapp. I'm pretty sure I keep annoying um, SD Perry because I keep tagging her in tweets about me begging for Capcom to bring back SD Perry. He's uh, like Caliban Cove characters because. I think they're better than most of the characters that Capcom have even like brought up side character wise anyway. Dino Crisis definitely needs a remake because I want to go back and play it, but I find it so hard to go back to old game controls now because I tried uh, replaying Kingdom Hearts again when that like new collection came out and I got maybe like four hours in and I was like, nah, I can't do this shit. <laughs> because like the controls are just so bad compared to like new games. I just want a confirmed ship in village. I don't care who. Give me the heterosexuality I deserve. <laughs> I think the only game that I've been able to go back and play, like, just as is, is probably Devil May Cry 3, because that's just so good, and Okami, on, both on PS2, because they just work best on that system, I think. Because I got the HD collection for Devil May Cry on the Xbox when it came out and it just wasn't as good. Oh no. Assassin's Creed was another series I used to really love. Um, only from like Ezio's stories because the rest were pretty lame. And me and my girlfriend kind of gave up after Black Flag.
But they were really good when they came out. Ezio was definitely the best. I actually got an Xbox just to play AC2. No regretty. One of the only games I've ever fully completed as well. And controversial opinion, but Revelation wasn't as good. I found later on the games just became too dependent on like stealth missions. And like I get that that's like a huge part of it, but it was mostly like tailing missions and overhearing conversations and oh, it was so boring. I haven't played um, a Far Cry since three, no, four either. I can't remember what One Brotherhood was. I completely forgot Valhalla was coming out. It just doesn't seem like um, an Assassin's Creed, does it? Like um, Far Cry Primal, that didn't feel like a Far Cry at all. I think me and Robin ended up giving up on Black Flag, actually. I only remember, like, the first boat mission. And that, like, I thought that was pretty fun. But I don't think Robin found it very fun. And we just went back to playing Alice Madness Returns instead. <laughs> Oh, I thought so. Yeah, I completely forgot there was another game between Revelations and 2. I haven't seen the ads because I'm a heathen and just keep ad block on forever. <laughs> But I find all ads annoying, to be honest. The closest thing I see to an ad is a uh, Raid Shadow Legends and Ridge Wallets sponsorships. So. Oh, got you. Yeah, that could get annoying. I just mute my phone when I do that. Take a shot every time I undo while I'm drawing a paw. Ooh, coffee. I think I can actually run ads on Twitch now because I'm an applicant, is it called? But I haven't worked that out. I don't want to force you guys to look at an ad.
Oh, does it do it automatically? Ah, that saves me a job then. I'm such a boomer when it comes to Twitch. I don't know how anything works. I still need to put my Twitch emotes up. Because um, Robin made me some. Oh, I keep hiccuping. Oh, nice. What VPN do you use? I've kind of been looking for one, but I don't really know what one to go with. I was thinking Nord. But I've heard Surfshark is pretty good as well, but I haven't heard as much about that one. That sounds very Amazon running ads, no matter what. Fuck you, Bezos. Oh, that sounds pretty cool then. Oh, I'll have to check those out. Thank you, guys. You know more about PCs than I do. Because I've been using Total AV as like my antivirus. And like they offer a VPN as well, but I'm not sure how I feel about them especially for things like VPNs as an antivirus they're pretty good though Ah, thanks, Garrett. I wish I went this fast all the time, but I think it's just because I've slept most of today, so I'm like, oh, go fast. I'm thinking I'm just going to sell shade this one. I think that'd just be kind on me. Bye, Sigma. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I can't draw a circle. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm going to scream. That'll do.
I can't resist puns. Waco and kitty time. Line's done. Holy shit, Leon's was in it. Is that where uh, raccoon milk comes from? Raccoon milk will always just haunt me. Ah, uh, thank you. I've been really happy with my cats lately. They spark joy. Fully rendered human pieces do not spark joy. I've still got one of those to finish. Yeah, I prefer um, the lasso tool just because like, it lets me just cut out really quick. It's easier on my repetitive strain injury as well, so I don't have to go back over everything, like scrub everything out. Like if I want something with a bit of texture or like opacity while I'm erasing, I'll use the eraser tool, but for most of it, I'll just use the lasso tool. It's just quicker. Oh, I hate trying to work out her head markings.
Can you hear the hamster in my brain turning? How's studio construction going? Almost there. Um, I've just got electrics to put in. Uh, they've all got here now, so I don't need to worry about that. I've just got to actually wait to hook it up. And then I've got to wait for insulation to come. Because luckily my dad's got a friend who picks up a load of scrap stuff, so I don't have to pay for it. Which is nice. I've already pissed so much money on that fucking shed. Yeah, I think markings are, like, easily the hardest part about animals. But I don't know, I think it's not too bad, especially compared to humans. Oh my god. Yeah, cats don't have tattoos. Well, most of them don't. I think rendering humans is the worst part about the job ever. Like, I hate that bit so much. Tattoos, I love it. Oh god, I have to go so careful on the um, overlay layers and stuff because I could just so easily go nuts.
Oh, I need to stop slouching while I'm working. Oh god, three layers of shading for all of that. I just merge everything down into like one layer and then just mass colour it. Or use like a clipping mask or something. Aslan's such a pretty cat. Oh yeah, I forget you work on iPad, don't you? I don't know how you can do it, because I couldn't. <laughs> I'm so stuck in my ways now, like I've been using Photoshop forever. I'm a boomer who doesn't like change. Yes, muted tal talicos. Aren't they the uh, monster hunter cat things? Yeah, muted calicos are just so cute. Alicos. Oh, holy shit. Which cats have thumbs? Wesker definitely has thumbs. I think the Weskers are going to have thumbs. Uh, maybe Ada. I feel like Chris would just have way too many toes in general. 
He just gives me that vibe. <laughs> Oh, there's this new glitch on Photoshop ever since I updated where if you like try to move your screen while you're zooming out, it'll just completely freeze the canvas so you've got to reopen it. It's so annoying. $60 art program. Is that in reference to Photoshop or? Ah, thanks for joining us. I will see you soon, Garrett. Give the guinea pigs a kiss. I didn't even realize that when I started this, but like, that makes me happy. Like the colour contrast. Oh, got you. I was slow on that one. Almost shading time. Whoops. Ah, thanks for joining, Isaac. 
As always, you are a star. Yeah, I know Inspector Gadget. God, that's been a while. Hi, Dre. Yes, oh my god, I completely forgot about the cat. Aww. Cats and cartoons are just the best. I think more cartoons need cats. And just more everything needs cats.
So what's everyone's plans for the weekend? Or just whenever, because time apparently doesn't exist when we're in lockdown. Celebrating? What are we celebrating? Oh, nice. What sort of race is it? Is it like um, a marathon or... Cause that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever considered celebrating the results of an election because it always seems to be like you're hoping for the lesser of evils to win. And... Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of either of the politicians that are running, so... Oh, as long as you stay safe. Parties are a big no-no over here at the moment. You can get a fat fine for them. I hope you have a good time, because that sounds really fun. Like, I don't think you should run into too much trouble, especially since you're out in open air, aren't you? So I don't think distance will be much of a problem. Thanks, Dre. I'm glad you like it. Cause as long as there's people who will enjoy it, I'll always make it. Even if people don't enjoy it, I'm never going to stop, to be honest. I guess it'll be good to get away from home. Because I miss travelling.
I think I'm in too deep with drawing to stop now. <laughs> Pretty much dedicated my whole life to it and only drawing, so kind of in it for the long haul. Yeah, line drawing is kind of difficult. Cats are okay though. You kind of get it mostly down to muscle memory by the end, so... God, I'm squeaky tonight. Squeaky hamster is very squeaky today. Like I have days where I like won't do it at all and then some days I just don't shut up.
Alright, be right back, guys.
Sorry about that, guys. I just had to go help my dad with something. Right, just got to finish little Missy off now. God, it is so cold at the moment. I went outside for like just a couple of minutes and my glasses have fogged up. All sorts. I believe we're almost done. I've missed streaming with you guys. I've got to be get back into the habit, I think. So I got a lot more done. <laughs> Oh, thanks for joining us, Jack. It was so nice to hang out with you again. Hope you get to relax at home soon. Don't work too hard.
see you later. Okay, it looks like she's all done. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you over on Twitter because no doubt I'm not done for tonight yet. Have a great week, everyone. See you later.